What's up everybody and welcome back to those who are following along. In order, we just finished up our quest in our main quest in Martha's Rest. And now it's time to head on to the next area, East Pool. The carpenter is finished repairing the bridge. So we can move on. We're heading to Rosaria to find out answers is the main overarching uh, quest that we're that we've embarked on, I should say. Don't you worry Bernard. about the boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Thank you, sir. Look out for the beast. It's spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Keep your wits about you. Green's heaves. We got a side quest coming up here too. Some scorpions. Crayfish scorpions. So we'll do how we always do. Let's explore this area pretty thoroughly. We'll do any side quests we come across on our way. A rat neck. Oh, here we go. Big guy. What are you guarding there, big guy? That's what's good about that move, is it stagger, it seems to stagger them pretty quick. It does a lot of stagger damage to a big enemy. So maybe it's not all useless after all. Got me again. Gotta hit him in the front. So before were we targeting a different body part? Can we move the... Where we're targeting? Try to press some buttons. I didn't see any. I didn't get anywhere. This time. Got him. Let me check in the um, controls. Maybe there's something in there. In the control settings. So lock on is L1. Oh, we could taunt. R2 plus the pad. 
Limit break? Limit breaks are back, huh? We haven't gotten the ability to do that yet, though. Yeah, I didn't see anything about, like, changing who you're locked onto. Or which body part you're locked onto on a bigger enemy, for that matter. That's right back where we came down. Killer bees! See, that's what Tor Torgal does. When he heals you, he's only healing the part of the health bar that's like not opaque. It's kind of like a yeah, it's like a faded green. Torgal has the ability to bring that health bar back. Okay, I think we gotta head this way next. Oh, yep. Bad guys must be the right way. got going on here level up baby all right Ten pinches of magic ash. So I already think we went through here. We just ran to the right first time. Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah, we've searched this whole thing. Did we go... Over here, I think we did. Oh, no, we didn't. Here we go. Try to get him staggered. There 
There we go. There we go. My wounds, boy. Man, I think put up a fight. Bloodhawk Jess. Let's check out what that is. Increases aerial combo damage by 8%. Nah, I'll keep the healing potency up for now. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working though. Can't we restore its power somehow? It's a hunter. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfords, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Well, there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait. Think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But. We didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hope empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Deal. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Beast against beast. Let's see. So there's where the wolves are. We gotta go up that way. Let's go explore a little bit. We'll come back to it. Oh, look at this. Oh, we fought one of those before. I forgot what it, I forgot what they're called, but we fought one. Minotaur, that's it. This will be easy. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah. 
Come on back. Almost there. There we go. There we go. Combat system is fun now. Switching between the icons in the middle of the battle. As we get more and more abilities, it's going to make it pretty interesting to see, you know, what combos we can come up with. So this path is closed off. Oh, that's a dead one. <laughs> Minotaur up there. Go. Now we'll finish him off. Let's see. I think we searched over here, right? Yeah, that's one of the claws we killed. So I think it's time. Yeah, it's time to take out the wolves. Bryce, 
Pizza cake. Oh yeah, he said he was on the bridge. Here we go. This little detour almost almost passed this right up. Someone's abandoned house. Chest in here? I knew it. Goblin coin. Bryce, my man. You, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Beast against beast. That's all they look at me as. Just the beast. Later, Bryce. Get out of my sight. The windmills. That must be Eastpool. Some more bloody hides. Just take a look at the map. Got this little detour down here. Better believe we're going to check that out. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Nice work, Jill. Oh, we got something. Wake wind. Nice. 
The stagger power of those wind spells is strong. Dragon Talon. Two of them. Alright, let's make for East Pool. Um, I'm not sure if this is a like a full ble a full uh full blown town or what? I'm guessing it's just going to be a stop on our way to Rosaria. Just a little pit stop. Actually, it looks like a pretty big town. Eastpool, the Imperial Province of Rosaria. Yeah, this looks quiet. like a legit town. Isn't it? Yes. A little too quiet. You! You're Clive Rossfield! It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Wait, which house is yours? Oh, we're going with her now. <laughs> and you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. So how is Lady Hannah connected to the royal family then? Did maybe she worked at the castle or something like that? She was obviously close to them in some way. Do you think will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. 
The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Well, that answers who she is. Lord Commander's wife. He was like our second-hand man. He trained us. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Well, she's one-upping us almost here. I'm sorry. She had to have it pretty rough. She was all chained up all the time. At least he got to go free and on the balcony. work. When we looked up at the moon. That red dot still I is there. What is that? that prayer was answered. Oh yeah. She prayed that I would be kept safe. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Oh. <sighs> we should get some rest. Ah, oh, I thought you guys were going to make out. Good night, Clive. So it must not be his sister. Sleep well. So weird. I could have sworn they were like brother-sister. 
I'm so confused on that part. Maybe it says in the pause menu. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? <laughs> oh, before Elwyn became it looks like uh, Cow Dracula. Our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Yeah, they're your dad's clothes, man. Yeah, it's something straight out of Castlevania. I like it. The cape and everything. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invictus, Median Cross. The north, you should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's check it out. Invictus. One of a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount Drastanus. Vic Invictus has been passed down through generations. Whoa. Nice. Abilities, where are we at? Okay, so these are all mastered now. Whatever that means. You know, it'd be nice if it said what it means. Maybe it says... No, it doesn't say there. Rising Flames. So it's been upgraded once, it seems like, right? Is this the other one we do? Two power, two power, three power. We should really just get this one. Summon a massive pillar of fire, and we heal. Yeah, so let's wait for that one. Do it. Oh wait, let's look at the local map here. Yeah, it doesn't there might be a couple chests around, but it doesn't seem like there's anything else going on here. What's this guy doing? I thought he was peeing on the hay for a second. No peeing on the hay, guy. There we go. More goblin coins. Let's look around. There could be another chest. Yep. Lady Hannah.
Okay. What do we got here? Shopkeeper? Merchant? Well met, friend. Gaia Blade. We already got one of those. And now we have stuff that's more powerful than that. Here you go. Take a couple potions. I don't think I had a way to get up there. Oh no, yeah, see, it's just for looks. Alright, let's move it. Y you Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. <laughs> Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Yeah, what's he talking about? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Pool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers, who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then, the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still considered the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. <sighs> if it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Alright. Let's go meet with this guy. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Sure. Is he inside the well? 
<laughs> He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. Sounds like all hell broke I loose. I can't you with your bearer either, though I doubt you'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Maybe he's waiting for us. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. I can't imagine the Viceregen stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. What's that look? Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. I don't get it. Why is he sorry? We're helping this poor old guy. Mm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Maybe try to go to the castle. 
Understood. Would makes you would only make sense, here. right? We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Oh, he's for sure in trouble. Probably it's surrounded by a pack of wolves or something. Could he have strayed even further? Over by this dragon, maybe. Hey, this respawned. Six briar clamshells. Now, I don't know if it's... I wonder if it's the same thing every time, too. Look. There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Uh-oh. Bees! Them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Wake! New enemies approach. What do we got here? Took him out. <clears throat> Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Poor old schlub. He's gonna do just that. Probably wait for us until he dies. The mayor's gonna be happy we did him a solid, though. Thank you, both of you. There we go. You've been See? most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. 
enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Fare you well, Mayor. All right, guys, I think this makes the perfect spot to end this one. In the next episode, we will head for Phoenix Gate. Take care, everybody.